Thank you, hi Dean, well played. Dean, what does it say about uh, the depth of the South African team that you were able to win a match in such an emphatic way without the players that you're missing? Yeah, um, look, that's always something that we've been trying to work to, uh, to strengthen. And um, I think exposing guys at this level or to this level is, is the one way of, of obviously getting that, that pool of depth a little bit deeper. Um, that has been an area that we have maybe struggled in, but um, we've had, we have had a few opportunities to, to get guys in and obviously expose them to, to this level. Um, <laughs> the only way you get to you actually get a, a taste or feeling with regards to this level is by the exposure. Um, yeah, I think we get in there with regards to it. Um, I don't think we, we, we totally there yet. Um, I think we still got maybe another season or two to go that, that can actually really reassure our minds of, of being hundred percent confident with regards to having a, a quite a big, uh, a pool. Um, so yeah, that's, that is still a work in progress. Um, but saying that, um, guys have obviously experienced the taste now of test cricket and, and what test cricket demands and, and the kind of nature of cricket you have to play in order to get a victory. Um, so yeah, but yeah, we're still working on it. Um, and uh, it is something we're very uh, conscious about. And uh, yeah, it's, it's still a work in, work in progress, no doubt. Dennis? Hi, Dean, congratulations. Um, would, you, would you be able to say now that maybe having those IPL guys not here could be a blessing in disguise because now you had the opportunity to sort of see what Keshav and, and Harmer can also do when they play together? Look, I think conditions uh, obviously forced, forced my hand, forced our hands, selectors' hand in, in obviously selecting the side like, like we did. Um, I think if we still played in the high felt, playing one spinner would have been the only option. But you're playing in Durban, and you got to obviously, you got to obviously see what the nature of playing is like at at uh, the specific venue. Um, but yeah, how awesome was it to see two spin bowlers bowling together in tandem and and have it on a string and absolutely dominating the opposition, which was which was something that we've always wanted to see. And um, yeah, it was great to see both of them competing at such a high level. Um, I think most batting attacks or batting lineups would have, would have had, a, had a tough task against both of them. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's horses for courses at the moment. And um, I think even with the IPL guys, if they were available, Keshav and Harmi would have operated uh, together still in quite a, quite a big capacity in a sense of they would have bowled um, most of our overs with regards to a percentage point of view. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome to have both of them there competing at, at such a high level and uh, just the, the pure skill level and intensity that they brought and consistency was something amazing to, to witness. Um, after Ken, Stuart, Telford, Hanyusa, and then we'll close with the dose for Dean. Thanks, uh, congratulations, Dean. Um, Thanks. I know, uh, I mean, you've just said that, that Harmer and Maharaj probably would have played together, whatever the circumstances, but there was still enough in that pitch for, for seamers to um, do a bit. Um, we saw that in Bangladesh. How much does it speak about the change in mindset um, of the Proteus team? That I think, whereas in the past, you know, it would have been the seamers would have opened the bowling and that probably would have been your first port of call. How much does it speak to the change of mindset that you, you were so reliant on the spinners? I think um, the style of captaincy that, I, that I'm trying to um, expose our players to and just, just to get them familiar with the way I, I want to play the game of cricket now, test cricket particularly, is about playing positive, ruthless, um, making bold, brash decisions, um, and, and also putting players out of their comfort zones. Um, that, that was purely a gut feel of mine that was that was not uh, influenced by the coaching staff whatsoever um, they kind of allow me to to do my to do me during game time um, in saying that they still give you a lot of advice along the way so that was purely a mindset of I want to see players put their hand up and make a massive impact for the team uh, irrespective of what kind of conditions you're in um, but yeah, in saying that, I could have bowled a seamer, but I wanted the guys to be ruthless. It's a style of cricket that, we, that I'm trying to develop. I, I want guys to follow it as well. Um, I know you get there, and I think I was getting there with the, the previous squad we had. 
But in saying that, we've got a new squad now, and it's about exposing those guys to the kind of level that I expect the guys to be playing at. Um, it's not always going to work, but it's about being repetitive. It's about being uh, on the same page. It's about the consistency with regards to being fair, fair to the players as well. Um, but yeah, that's purely my decision out of, uh, I want the positivity out of, uh, for, for every guy to, to be speaking the same language uh, going forward. Good. Thanks, Supergazi. Uh, well played, Dean. Uh, just on your batting, particularly in the second innings, just how concerning was that to have that big, big collapse? And, and what are the lessons you want the batters to take out of that? I think intensity is uh, what we're lacking there. Um, I think a lot, a lot of guys need to wake up and realize that test cricket demands intensity, whether you got the ball in hand bat uh, or bat in hand. Even in the, at the start of your innings, you need to be you need to be up at a certain level, whether it's um, being in good positions and having good, good body language, or even just a pure thing of running between the wickets, which can always intensify your innings. Um, or set a level of intensity uh, in your innings. So I think we lacked in that. And I think maybe the inexperience of players, we've got to be mindful of that. There was a guy on test debut as well, and uh, uh, maybe one or two guys that have, have played a handful of tests. So they're maybe not quite familiar ar around that kind of role play, but they will get there. And we, um, it's, it's important for us as senior players and coaching staff to, to still speak that language to those players around the, the small little game plans that they require um, for test cricket. So I wasn't too concerned. I'm, I was actually glad it happened just to expose the guys to that kind of uh, level of where they were maybe lacking or where they can, can be a lot better um, because that's a matter of scoring another 30, 40 runs in a session. And in conditions like this, when you've maybe only got three sessions, three and a half sessions to bowl a team out, Better batting lineups will, will most probably get through those sessions and the test will end in a draw. Um, so it's about the, just awareness and exposing players to those kind of scenarios. Um, we were fortunate enough, we had quite a lot of runs in the bank, but I, I still wanted to get more runs because that's the style of cricket that we want to play going forward. Um, so yeah, it's just purely the intensity out of that. And more times than none, if your intensity is at a right level, um, your batting is going to be at a higher level as well. Um, so yeah, it, it was definitely not not a bad thing that it happened like that. Uh, it was good exposure for for everyone. How's it, Dean? Hi. Um, hi. Very well played as a as a batter and and obviously as a captain. Um, we noticed that you took yourself out of the slip cordon after you dropped a catch, and and I'd like to think that's a very positive comment on your captaincy. You know, I'm obviously off my game in this regard today. Get somebody else in there. Is is that fair to say? Purely that, I think um, if you look at the four guys that stand in there, I must probably have the weaker catching hands or skills out of those three guys. Um, I knew it's never going to be like a three slips, one gully. If it was a three slip, one gully kind of wicket, I would have gone back in there. Um, but I think if you want to, if you want to win games, you need to put your ego aside and you need to uh, do what's best for the side. Um, it was also a good, a good opportunity for me to go stand next to the bowler, speak to the bowler as well. Um, but yeah, I think as it worked out, <laughs> it worked out nicely for us. And it definitely doesn't, um, dropping a catch is fine. Uh, I don't mind that. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all good in my opinion. Uh, I'll definitely see myself back in there if it's a three slip one gully kind of kind of pitch. Um, but uh, Kingsmead kind of dictates that you don't really need that kind of slip cordon and you need your best guys with the best hands behind the stumps. Um, can you say? Uh, thank you very much, Sipokas. Indeed, uh, good morning, and it is a good afternoon. And congratulations on your first win as a player at Kingsmead. How does it feel considering that you've been through the motions at Kingsmead, at provincial level, and at test level as a player? Yeah, I've uh, caught quite a few hidings at Kingsmead, especially in first-class cricket. Um, yeah, a few test matches that we've lost here. Yeah, I think I, uh, out of the four or five, of, this is the first one I've <laughs> been a part of the winning side um which is which is not great but it's 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 still nice to know that we've had we've had the upper hand in this one and um, so it's nice to have a victory on our side um yeah been here caught a few hidings along the way at Kingsmead especially against the Dolphins in four-day cricket yeah which has only really happened towards the latter part of my career um but yeah it's nice to get a victory at Kingsmead and finally for those 
Thank you. Yeah, Dean, just on that, would you say that the national side likes Kingsmead again and with these conditions you were happy with? You want to come back here? Look, it's not the style of cricket that, that we generally used to or want to play. Um, but I think it shows a lot of character with regards to adapting to being put in situations or, or conditions that's so, that's not, that we're not familiar with. Um, so I think it shows a lot of strength within our group that we have the resources to adapt. Um, we still want to play the high felt kind of cricket where you're playing three seamers all around and, and a spinner and a, and a world class spinner. And um, yeah, we still want to have that style where fast bowling is our prime um, source of, of, of attack. Um, but saying that, um, it's, we, we have to adapt as international cricketers. Um, we play quite a bit of a bit of cricket in the sub now. In the sub now, um, so it was great to expose ourselves, our bowling attack, to having two spinners operate in tandem. Um, there's so many positives out of that. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of good things that happened uh, in the last five days for us.